Okay guys, hello again. My name is Emma and welcome to my channel and welcome to Saturday Night Threads. Okay, I just hope this camera doesn't fall because like I said, I still can't find that little block that I was looking for um, to put on my tripod. So I'm going to have to go for a deep, deep hunt uh, for that. Although I'm still trying to get you guys a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I really am in a group. I keep wanting to do this. So maybe I should put you guys over here. I don't know. Okay, maybe like that. I just don't want you guys to fall. Okay, so I was talking about how I kind of like goofed up the other time because I was like, I didn't know why my threads were not looking good. And I was like, there's something's wrong here. So I said, I must be doing this stitch wrong because it looks wrong. So I went back and I did um, do, a, uh, I watched a tutorial and I was like, then when I saw it, I said, okay, that's what I did wrong. So what happened was that when I was doing it, when I was doing the peaks, when I was doing the peaks, which is right here, one, two, and three, I was, you have to put three double crochets in this hook. And then when you get to the valleys, you have to go in through, in through three stitches, one, two, and three, and then bring them all together. And that was what I did not do. And I was like, that's why it was coming out wrong. Now, I also mentioned that, um, I mean, you don't have to do it this way. I'm just saying because they don't tell you, you know, to use markers when you're doing this. And already, some of my lines are like really off the grid. Like, they're just going everywhere. And I'm kind of like really getting upset about it. And I was like, oh my God, now I have to like, improvise and figure out which way it's going or what am I going to do to make it go straight again and then in some areas the width between each valley and each um um what do you call it peak they're a lot more shorter and then some of them are really long and I was like ah this is it was real but they don't tell you these things you know when you're um when you're going through it they don't they don't mention anything so for your own sake i mean you don't have to use paper plates paper clips you could use they do have like these little round things and they have like hooks on them you can use those or probably be a lot more easier i'll probably end up buying a pack because i'm gonna need it these are just really too long but at least they're color coded and you know you could always move them ahead if you need to you know i mean it's going to be a little time consuming but at least you'll know where the peak and the valleys are at okay and you won't get so so much confused like i did <laughs> okay so we're gonna go and we're going to do right now which is a peak so you're going to go into the third one, you got one, two, three. You're going to go in the second one. Between the three, between the three, you're going to go in the one on top. The, the second, the three, the one in the middle. Let's just say the one in the middle. So you're going to go, you're going to double crochet. And you want to try to keep this kind of as tight as possible. So not too tight because you want to be able to pull the string through the the hoops now this is the what he called the peak so in this stitch right here I am going to do three so I'm going to go one two and three yarn over pull through two pull through two so that's going to be my peak now I have a valley so I have one two three that I have to put all together but I have one 
two, three, four, that I'm going to do double crochets. Okay, so I'm going to go into there. One. Two. And always look at your work. Three. Always keep an eye on your work. If you're not sure, stop. Just stop and look at it. That was my mistake too, because I always want to hurry. I'm always in a rush. So we have, okay, so we have one. So it's going to be these three. So I have one more. One more double crochet. And now we're going to do the valley. So it's going to be one, two, and three. So we're going to double crochet, yarn over, and then we're just going to pull through two. We're going to yarn over, go to the next stitch, pull through two. Yarn over, go through the next stitch. Again, it's three stitches. You're going to pull through two, and you should have four stitches on your needle. You're going to pull through all of them. And there you go. There's the three. And that was what I was forgetting to do. And I couldn't understand why they, why were they looking so weird? And last week when I was showing you, I go, no, this is like so totally wrong. This is wrong. Like, see, look, I already have a peek and look, look how short the stitches are. Like they're only like one, two, three, four, five. And the other ones are like seven and eight. And that's, that's what was getting me upset. So I was like, why, why did all of a sudden that they become short? Well, they became short because I missed, I missed a valley or I missed um, a peak. That's why. So then I had to like improvise and say, okay, well, how am I gonna, you know, how am I gonna correct this because now it's gonna look bad and the stitches are going everywhere now. They're not, they're not cohesive. You know, some are short. Look, look at how long this one is. Okay, so that's a peak, and now I'm going to go through a valley. So I'm just going to do double crochets all the way across. Oh, we did get the Chinese food yesterday after all. <laughs> like I was talking about, you know, for some reason we try to order Chinese food. Now that was earlier today, and um, they weren't answering the phone, and I was like, "Oh no, we're not gonna get no Chinese food because of the weather." But they did; they ended up answering, so we were like, "Yay!" Okay, so now I got the three stitches because it's a it's a valley, so it's one, two, and three. So I'm gonna go in here, pull through, and go through two hoops. Go through the next stitch, pull through two. And going to the next stitch, you pull through two, and we should have four all together, and we're going to pull through all of them. So that's your valley. And now we're going to go to a peak. You're going to do double crochets, double crochets, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. You go in the stitch, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, go in the stitch, pull through two, pull through two. So now we're going to, we have the three stitches, one, two, and three. So we're going to go into this middle one right there. Now one more. And then we're going to put three in here. Three double crochets. Two. And then three. Now we're going to have another valley. So we're going to double crochet all the way till we get to that valley. So far the camera is not falling and I'm very, very thankful. My cameras are always falling. <laughs> you should have seen me at the store the other day. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was trying to prop the camera up on the bread, on the cookies, <laughs> everything that I can think of. Okay, so we have the three. So we're going to have actually, yeah, one, two, three. So we're going to put all those together. 
yarn in, yarn over, you got two loops, yarn over, yarn in, pull through two, yarn over, go through that third stitch, pull through two, and now you're going to go through all, all three of them, all four. Okay, so I ran out of spaces, so I'm not going to move the markers over because I think, you know, maybe I'll move them over later. So now I see that I have another, another um, peak, okay? And I'm almost finished with the skin right here, so I can't wait because I'm going to do, I think it's gray. I think I'm doing gray next, I think. So there's the other peak. I'm gonna go through two, go through two, go through double crochet until we reach that that peak so I got two more to go okay one more yeah it you really when it comes to these things I'm and my my uh, aunt did one now remember, I'm gonna go through the the middle one and I'm gonna put three double crochets in that stitch she did a red and black wave blanket and I'm like, how in the heck did she use black? Black is so hard, you know, to see through, you know? It is really, really hard. So now we're gonna. I'm very hungry. Can I have another slice of pizza? There's no more, hun. That was it. I can make you some fish sticks, I think. So give me a second. All right. Okay. Uh, we still have leftover pork stew, but they are so picky. Or I can make him a ramen soup if he wants. Okay, so we got one hippo. And then he's always eating cookies and milk. And <sighs> I'm like, that's not food. <laughs> okay, so we now we have a valley and we got three these three stitches we have to go into okay these three so we're gonna go yarn over go in pull up yarn over go into the second stitch pull through two yarn over go into the third stitch pull through two and then we have all four okay and now we have another peak I mean this is really enjoyable. I mean, if you know what you're doing. <laughs> like, I'll be like, oh my God. I did it right. And I'm not one who, you know, I, I am not taking. There have been times where I have taken things apart. Because I think I used this one yarn and it was kind of like furry, very furry. And there was just no way I was going to be able to find the the hole you know, to do the uh, the stitches. I said, uh, no. And I was going to put it on this one because it was glittery and I thought it was going to look so cute. But then when I realized, I go, this is not going to happen. I, I undid it. I took it off. I was like, no, this is not going to happen. So, yeah. Okay, so. And it's looking pretty, pretty big. So I still have, you know, it's, it's a waste. It's getting there. Yeah, I think I am going to do the gray next. So, and then I always have to like, you know, like fold this over because <laughs> it's getting big. And I really do want to get it. See, look, look at how long this one is. Look, look at how long. The other ones were either short or like up to here. Look, look at how long this is before I get to um, a valley. That's what I mean. And now this one, I don't know what's going on here. So see this one I think I had to I had to do it over because I I screwed up right here. You can see I screwed up here, here, and here. And you can see it. It looks really bad. So I had to stretch it. I had to stretch it. So now I have to go by this. Because if I don't, I'm just the whole ugh. It's just going to be a mess. But, uh, you know, I'm getting there. 
I know I did that when I was on my way back going this way because I was like, if I don't figure this out, it's going to go really look bad and then I'm going to get upset. And I don't want to take the whole thing apart because it already took me a long time just to get to where I'm at now. And that's why I said, just make sure you keep looking at your work. Especially when it comes to crocheting or knitting. Sewing is a little bit more different. Sewing is more forgiving because you could just tear out the stitches and start over. And usually the stitches are not that big. You know, especially if you're doing like shirts or, you know, pillowcases, things like that. Now, quilting, I think quilting, now this is a valley, so I'm going through through these three. Go through two, go to the third stitch, and then go through two, and then pull them all together. And I had to pay attention, I had to ignore this, because this is what happened last time. I go, no, and then I'm trying to improvise, I go, no, just stick to what you see right here. Otherwise, it's going to drive you nuts. Just don't forget, you're going to go to, you're just going to keep going until you hit another, another peak. So I had to stretch this one because it just got totally messed up. And I have to remember the same thing on my way back. I just got to, you know, keep looking at my work and keep looking at my work. And then when I'm all done with the grays, because I think I have like three more skins of gray, um, I'll try to find some more neutral, some more neutral colors. So I really like these colors. I would like a dark brown, but I don't know. We'll see. So there's my peak, and I don't know what the heck's going on here. Uh-oh. Yeah, and then I found another knot. I don't know why that's... I'm going to have to undo that. Okay, one more. Because I don't know why these this yarn had knots in them. I was like, what's with the knots? And my back, my side is killing me. Because I'm at an angle. Okay, see how short this... Look how short this one is. But I'm just going to go with it. Just going to go with it. So almost done with the earrings. I'm just got I'm just going to take a break. I'm going to eat and then I'll get on the earrings. Like I said, I already got my my bags ready with the little plates in there. And um Okay, so we have a valley, so we're going to have these three. Yeah. So in, pull through two, second stitch, pull through two, third stitch, pull through two, and then pull through all of them. I mean, I like crocheting. I think crocheting is pretty. You know, I've been seeing all these, you know, crocheters crocheting, you know, um... Barbie clothes and and um, table, you know, um, tablecloths. I mean, they're just so beautiful. Or charters for for plates. They're just so nice. Little dresses for girls. And then they have like the little shoes to go along with it. Okay, that that one was really short. Look, I already got a I already got a peek, and I barely just did the valley, and I already got a peek. Okay, and if you're not careful, you can you can miss it. But they said go 14, go 14, then a peak, go 14, then a valley. But again, they don't tell you to use markers. So use markers, guys. Use markers, and that they're multiplying. I don't know what the heck they were multiplying. I don't get them. If you guys know, let me know. But I don't get the multiplication part. 
oh, and you multiply by this, and if you have this much, I go, what? I didn't, I didn't get it. So all I did was count 14 as long as I wanted the chain. I did the chain as long as I wanted, and then I just started counting 14, 14, and 14. And then it said add five stitches after that, or add two stitches. Oh, what? Okay, so here I'm coming to another, to another valley, and I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use these three. And this thing is bothering me. It keeps getting caught. It's come, come, coming to the end of it. It's sorry, it's killing me. Okay. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. And now pull all together. Okay. I'm trying to stay in front of the eye of the camera. Sometimes it's hard if you don't have an overview of what you're doing. Just stay in front of the eye of the camera. Okay, now this was a peak. I'm going to have to go in here. One more. Okay, now I'm going to go in here. And I hope this will do it. I'm just going to, you know, try to keep on track from now on. And just keep looking at my work so I won't screw up again. Okay. So almost coming to the end. I have this much left to go. So I think we're good right here. So I think I'm going to stop. And I don't know. I I'm still trying to figure the time on this thing. Because sometimes it gives me like... 25 minutes and then sometimes it'll give me like 29 and says it oh you know time out or gives me a time out or something i'm like what 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 so i'm just gonna back you guys up a little bit i might have to tilt you guys oops sorry i'm sorry did i hate the one that does that yeah so i mean i always have to grab everything and I'm still trying to mess with, yeah, so it won't fall. <laughs> so this is my Canon R10, so I'm still messing with the lens and everything like that. I mean, I love it. it it's gorgeous. I love messing with it. But it's not the same as the, um, as the phone. It's a lot more different. Um, usually with this one, it takes me a minute to upload. It takes like two, two to three hours to upload this so this won't be up until maybe seven i think <laughs> i don't know anyway <laughs> like a fish in the sea so glad you caught me and we will catch you next week on or we'll see you next week on saturday night threats okay guys we'll see you in a bit